kitchen with Claude McKenna now, who's showing you how to make a delicious chicken cuddle of a noodle soup. We've been looking forward to this all <laughs> I'm, morning. I'm going straight in, Cloda. Yeah, I feel this is very wild moon. Mm. Isn't it? That's, am I allowed to say that? Sorry. I don't know, but you did this. <laughs> no, it's delicious. It is very you. Um, I've renamed it chicken noodle soup to chicken cuddle soup because it mm. is such a cuddle, it isn't is. it? And it's one pot. It's very healing and also there's very little wash up in it too. Mm. You're loving it. You're already in already there. Do in. I, just, I just do this to camera? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so one pot, a big pot, like a casserole dish like that, olive oil in there. And you know all those wonderful flavours that you have in there? That is like all of the base of it, which is ginger, garlic. Can you guess what else is in there? Um, is there onion in it? No. There, yeah, spring onion. A little bit of spring, spring onion. onion. There's green chilli in there. There's and is that why grass. it's actually, when we say oh, it's a cuddle of a soup, we're saying that for a reason, because garlic's really good for you. Ginger's Garlic really good is very for you. good for you. Um, celery is very good for you because it gives you like that. It just like, um, it helps get rid of any of the bloatiness in you. Right, okay. Um, so I've got lemongrass in there, I've got celery, I've got like spring onions, and then you just simmer that all down in a little bit of olive oil to get yes. all those gorgeous flavours going. A little bit of olive oil in there. And then next up, you add in the chicken stock. And that is where like the healing part of it comes in. Because mm -hmm. like chicken stock supposedly has like a natural penicillin in it. Is it, do you use, make your own? Or is it okay to I mean, sort of use one of those cubes? Or I think it's pots? fine to use a cube, get like a good cube. Yeah. But if you do, if you have roasted a chicken, you know, and then you've got like the leftover carcass, don't throw the carcass away, pop it into a big saucepan, mm. put a couple of um, herbs in there, bring it up to the boil and let it simmer for an hour and then just take off the juice and you've got really beautiful flavoured mm. chicken And put it in the freezer. Stock. And put it in the freezer. Yeah, you know what somebody does, a um, friend of mine does, she puts them in the ice cube trays. So then she's got little ice cubes of beautiful stock to pop into her gravy and stuff. What a good oh, idea. That's clever, isn't it? Okay, this is so heavy, sorry. Oh, so sorry. That, and I'm going, I'm putting in the, the, no, the chicken stock. No, talk to us more. <laughs> <laughs> in the chicken stock in here. So then you're creating this beautiful broth of like lemongrass mm, and everything yum, like yum, that. Yum. And then in goes the raw chicken, which is chopped up like matchsticks like that. That takes about 10 minutes to cook. So then what you want to do is after 10 minutes, it comes out looking like this, all cooked up, because they're just shredded down into like matchsticks. So it's quick, I'm, I'm like adding that. more flavour to that chicken stock. Adding it's more flavour into it. And then I'm putting in these noodles, which you can buy in packs. Now they're a brilliant, like store cupboard thing because they stay forever. I mean, I think they last forever. I should ask Walk actually, he's like, <laughs> he's over there somewhere. They I reckon last they forever, last a long time. They yeah, the noodles, yeah. <laughs> For like a year, anyhow. I've probably been I'm using watching, one. I'm learning. <laughs> uh, no, they, they do last, but you have to check the um, sell-by date You've got to on check the packet the when you buy them. Mm -hmm. um, and then when got it goes it. in, you just break it up like that. I'm using fine ones, but you can also use the medium ones. I always use the egg noodles because for me, they've just got more kind of like substance and flavour about My them and everything like that. My kids love the udon noodles, the big, thick. Oh, yeah, I I'm love not in, them. I'm, I'm not into it. I prefer this, like, finer, thinner. Oh, I do prefer you? This. The big, chunky... When it, the, the, oh, the, the so small, smaller this. noodles. OK. Yeah. But also, there was that packet, packet chicken noodle soup that had these noodles in, but they were cut and they were about a centimetre long. Yeah. I know the one. Yeah. I know it well. Was it gnaw? Might be. Yeah. Super, <laughs> kind of super. And then yeah. I put in some mushrooms in there that give that lovely kind of earthiness flavour in there, too. And then in goes pak choy. Now, if you're looking at this at home and going like, what is pak choy? I've never seen it before in my life. Um, and I've actually only recently started cooking a lot of pak choy. You could put in kale, you could put in spinach in there, you could put in shredded cabbage in there too. And then the other thing I wanted to say was that, you know, I put in raw chicken in there. You could, if you've got a leftover roast on a Sunday of a chicken or pork or whatever, you just keep all that meat back and shred it up with your hands yeah. or else like chop it all up. And then that will only take a minute. So that will like speed up the whole cooking time. What if you wanted it to be veggie? What if you wanted it to be veggie? You could put tofu? in... You could put in tofu into it, exactly. Um, you could also put butternut squash already mm -hmm. roasted into it, maybe beautiful. Could in you it use too. a vegetable stock then instead of chicken yeah, stock? Yeah, just a vegetable fine. stock. And Maybe then you can also do prawns in it, you can do pork in it. And then that just takes like a couple of minutes. And I'm going to finish it off. Uh, finish it off. Now, I have been, so I'm not usually 
I'm not wearing my usual style today because Gok, when I was walking down the corridor, pulled me into his like magical wardrobe and restyled me and gocked me you up. You look very nice. How do, do you I... feel? Do you feel different? I feel very different. I would never wear earrings like this and I feel like I've just jumped out of my white shirt <laughs> denim <laughs> jeans comfort zone. Well, you so, look gorgeous. Thank you so much, Gok. Nice but to have a bit of change. When I finish, um, it is nice to have a change up. When I finish this all up, I then put, which I know, I don't know if you've like noticed it on the top of it, is like lovely crispy mm. sesame um, seeds on top of it and then fresh coriander. But this really is such a healing soup. I, like so many of my friends and blah, blah, have been telling me that they, you know, are finding it hard going from season of the summer season into like this autumn season. And I think that the most important thing, and when I was listening to your podcast this morning as well coming in, I was thinking that it's so important just to be good to yourself, isn't it? Mm. Just to be like, make yourself a lovely a bowl of chicken, you know, cuddle soup. And, you know, and, and be good to yourself and feed yourself well. Feed yourself with goodness as well. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You.